Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another and this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily create and match skin tone in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. So often times I've been showing you how you can easily mask it out, and it was kinda a long process. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily get the image from looking like this to looking like this in just Photoshop. You can see how nice and even the skin has gotten to be in the after image. So if at all you want to download the image to follow along, check the links in the description on this very video. And don't forget to like this video. Just simply hit the like button on this very video because when you do that, it helps you to push and comment this video to many people out there. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to come and simply delete this. So you can see basically before and after what we are going to be achieving by the end of this very tutorial. So I'll just come and simply delete this. So before you do anything, for the image simply come and duplicate the background layer as a backup so press ctrl j on the keyboard or you can use command j on the keyboard and after doing that simply come right here through the adjustments so when you come to the adjustment simply come and select gradient map so when you select gradient map it's going to apply any other random colors over your image so don't mind if at all your image is displaying any color so don't mind about the color that is displayed on this very step so yours may be having a different color but this doesn't matter because we just want to map and copy skin color from this very image or the face as a reference point and we match it and create it to look like the face or the rest of the body so i'm just going to come and hide this layer and select the icon so make sure that the icon has been selected and not the layer mask so make sure the icon has been selected and after you hide or deactivate this layer and after hiding it just come to where you see properties and after that just come and simply left click on the color option and it's going to open up the gradient editor so in open when it opens up the gradient editor always make sure that you press the caps lock if at all yours is displaying this kind of icon instead of the eyedropper so make sure the caps lock is deactivated so make sure the sample is set to 5x5 five five average. So just want to copy skin tones from this very image or from the face and we use that point or as a reference point and we even the rest of the body or this area to look like the first area. So to copy you simply left click on this pointer and left click on the color option. And zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard and choose the darkest point of the skin tones so I'm just going to zoom in and look for that area that represents the darkest point of the skin tones or skin color of the model so I just zoom in and be precise with this selection so I think this represents the darkest point of the skin tone I think uh, that don't mind if at all we chose a wrong color because you can always come and we correct that mistake. So hit OK and now single click on the brightest pointer and left click on the color option and single click on what you feel is the brightest point of the skin tone. So for this case I'm just going to use the face as a reference point so that is the brightest point. Hit OK. Then click once again right here in the middle. And type in the location to 50 so that it can be nice and precise or in the middle and left click on the color option and with that you're just going to sample or choose a color to represent the mid-tones of the skin so you can sample around and see the color for a mid-tones and hit ok so by just doing this we have been able to copy and map the colors from the darkest point of the skin in the first area to the brightest point of the skin so after doing that just come and simply single click on the color option and after doing that use command command minus to zoom out come and activate this layer once again and as soon as you do that you can see the skin is looking uniform come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color but now the skin looks uniform but it is affecting the overall image remember we created a backup layer here so what we want to do we are going to simply drag this layer and put it in a group or this folder icon so this layer is now in two or placed in a group so when that layer is pressed in or placed in a group 
what we want to do you are going to simply come and first of all deactivate it and come and select this backup player that we created all earlier on when the trailer was starting so when this layer is selected you are simply going to come right here to select and simply come to select subject and photoshop is going to automatically select our subject so after it is done selecting remember it has also selected the hair so just come to your selection tools right here and you select the quick selection tool or after selecting it so you just make sure the quick selection tool is selected so make sure you select the one with the minus tool option right there and by doing that simply subtract by painting to subtract the hair from uh, the selection so i'm just going to subtract the hair just like that and by just doing that you can notice that the hair has been deselected from uh, the selection remember we only want to affect uh, the skin and not the hair so make sure you deselect every area that you don't want to be affected so right now we have now masked out the skin so anything is going to be creating a layer mask so hold down the option key on the keyboard and create an inverted layer mask so hold down the option key and left click on the layer mask icon and that is going to create this inverted layer mask so now what we, are, we have to do come and activate this layer that we or the group for the color grading that we have and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and when you hold down the shift key on the keyboard drag and drop this onto the group layer that we have and by just doing that now the color grading is now affecting only the skin of the model but we still have one issue and that issue is it has also affected the makeup and the lips in this case so what we have to do we are simply going to come and select the layer mask right there and come to the brushes right click and get the normal brush tool make sure the hardness set to zero and soft round brush is selected with the opacity and the flat 100 percent right there make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches to reset to black and white you can press d on the keyboard so that you can have black and white so switch the brush back to black make sure black is the foreground color you can now zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus and with that you can now paint reveal the original makeup color just like that and you can see this basically reveals the original makeup of uh, the model's face so you can even eliminate it from the lips because as we are color grading we don't want to change or even alter the makeup so just paint only and only on those areas that you don't want to be affected so if at all you want to reveal the original makeup in the cheekbone area what we have to do we are simply going to come and reduce on the opacity of our brush to around 19 and with that you can now turn this off and see where the makeup was and simply with that just get the brush and paint on that area to reveal the original makeup in the cheekbone area just like that so after you have done that now the skin looks nice and it is matching before after before after so if at all you want to change the color if at all it is not to your liking you can always open up the group and double click on this icon and single click on that and you can change the color for example for the midtones to the color of your liking so single click on the middle pointer and you can change the saturation to your liking so i'm just going to make it slightly oversaturated and hit ok then if at all the effect is too much you can come and reduce on the opacity just like that and by just doing that we have been able to match the skin color and we have uniform skin or uniform skin tones or skin color and the colors are now matching but we have yet one issue and that issue is having this area darker than the face so that is going to be simply fixed by using the curves adjustment layer so just come and create a curves adjustment layer right there and click in the middle and drag up until when you feel like that area is bright enough and it is close to the face 
and close this and press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard with the brush tool selected and opacity in the flat 100 percent white as the foreground color because we just want to reveal the brightness that was hidden behind the black mask so remember in Photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so I'm just going to paint on the lower part of the body to reveal that kind of brightness that was hidden in those areas so make sure you be careful not to paint extras so you can see before after before after for just the brightening effect so if at all it is too much you can come and reduce on the opacity so right now the face is now looking nice and uniform to the rest of the body and this is why we started that's the before after before after before and after so this is how you can easily match and create uniform skin tones on, on your images in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank for watching i'll see you need more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating